माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस इज योर फ्रेंड डॉक्टर सुरेश एनवी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइकिंग माय अर्लियर टू वीडियोस ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ कैविटी प्रिपरेशन इफ यू आर न्यू हियर आई विल लीव द लिंक फॉर द अर्लियर टू स्टेप्स दैट इज द आउटलाइन एंड डेप एंड द प्राइमरी रेजिस्टेंस फॉर्म इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टूडे वी आर लर्निंग द प्राइमरी रिटेंशन फॉर्म एंड द कन्वीनियंस फॉर्म फर्स्ट वॉट इज द रिटेंशन फॉर्म रिटेंशन फॉर्म इज बेसिकली द शेप एंड फॉर्म ऑफ द कैविटी विच प्रिवेंट्स द डिस्लॉजिंग ऑफ द रिस्टोरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द रेजिस्टेंस फॉर्म द फोर्सेस विच कैन फ्रैक्चर द टूथ और द रिस्टोरेशन आर टेकन केयर वेर एज इन द रिटेंशन फॉर्म वी टेक केयर द फोर्सेस विच मे ट्राई टू लिफ्ट द रिस्टोरेशन फ्रॉम द कैविटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेनी अर टाइम्स पीपल इट स्टिकी फूड एंड दैट कैन पुल द रिस्टोरेशन फ्रॉम द कैविटी so to prevent that we have to give primary retention form please note that many a times the resistance form and retention form are given together some features of resistance form can also help to give retention for example the bonding of the composite restoration increases the resistance form but it also helps the composite to retain into the cavity preparation better so how do you achieve the retention form for amalgam we give occlusal conversion now many a times teacher may ask you this specifically whether it is occlusal convergence or whether it is pulpal divergence both mean the same the convergence what is required for amalgam is you need to have smaller entry on the top and a wide base this is because amalgam doesn't bond micromechanically or chemically to the two structure so initially when you mix an amalgam it is in a moldable state so even though if the top portion is small you can insert it to the cavity and condense it there but over a period of time when the reaction continues the amalgam becomes set inside the cavity now if somebody eats chewing gum or sticky product it will not be able to lift the amalgam because the top portion is really small so this is how the occlusal convergence gives retention to the amalgam but it should never be overdone because as we learned in the last video of resistance form that if the enamel is devoid of dentin then it becomes really weak so you may get very good retention but the top portion will simply collapse if you give more amount of force to the restoration and the tooth the second most common primary retention feature for amalgam is occlusal dovetail as you can see in this image it is also used as a joints in various furniture if you look closely it basically has a wide end on one side and the narrow end end on the other side the same principle is also applied in the tooth occlusal dovetail are generally useful when you are preparing a class 2 restoration if you can see in this image if you put a vertical force on the marginal ridge the whole restoration tries to go towards the proximal side but since there is an occlusal dovetail on the other side of the restoration it prevents the proximal movement of the restoration where do you give occlusal dovetail i have seen students getting confused and they sometimes give it on the buccal or lingual side especially on the maxillary molars the dovetail is always given on the proximal side of molars and premolars that is mesial and the distal side so if you are doing a class 2 mo the dovetail can either come in the central pit if it is a conservative act or you can give it into the distal marginal ridge area you can give dovetails in anterior teeth also for example if you are doing class 3 restoration you can make a small dovetail on the lingual side so that the retention improves for the whole restoration for the composite you don't actually need the convergence and there is no specific shape because composite bonds micromechanically and if you are not understood about the micromechanical bonding because dentin bonding agents are really difficult to grasp my video on dentin bonding agent is really helpful to the students and it has got almost 23000 views i request you to check the video and the link will be in the description you can also give bevel in order to increase the surface area so that you expose more of the enamel rods before going ahead with the convenience form if you are confused in any aspect please do write into the comment section and also a gentle reminder to subscribe to the youtube channel coming to the convenience form convenience form basically it makes the cavity preparation easier and it also allows you to finish the restoration properly now for any restoration you have to apply one basic principle in order to achieve 
the convenience form you cannot make a highly conservative cavity because that is possible if you have a small burr but then the condensing instruments don't enter the cavity preparation when you want to condense the amalgam or any material so conservative aspect of cavity preparation cannot be at the expense of convenience form so you have to make sure that you achieve proper width and depth so that it becomes easier to follow all the steps of cavity preparation to the restoration. If you want to understand the convenience form better, let us learn it from cast restorations. Now in amalgam, we give occlusal convergence that is not possible in cast restoration because cast restorations, once you take an impression or wax pattern, you want the wax to come out from the cavity and the restoration also which comes from the lab can only enter the cavity if the top portion is white. So as you can see in this image, the walls of cast restoration are occlusally divergent and the walls of amalgam restoration are occlusally convergence. But occlusal convergence for amalgam gives the primary retention form. But the occlusal divergence in cast restoration help the placement of the inductor restoration into the cavity preparation. So basically it is making convenient to make the restoration. Another example is direct filling gold restorations. The walls of the cavity preparation meant for direct filling gold should be refined very well. This will help for better condensation of gold foil because it is easier at this junction to start condensing and packing rest of the foil on one another. Friends, I hope that you like the fun series of fundamentals of cavity preparation. If you want me to make any specific topic, please do write it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel.